Hey guys, Bubble Pop Kids here. It is time for some squishy chopping. It is Monday. I got six new ones on the table. Hey everybody, welcome back to the squishy chopping block. It is Monday, and if you have those Monday blues, here's a little squishy to put in your life. We have six new ones on the table. Six new ones that I have never seen before. Totally different. We got two homemades. We even have, look at this, a little kiwi slam. We got a very special show headed your way because I think we have some crazy, crazy squishies here. We got the two homemades. Colleen, Colleen made these. She's back to her squishy making. And I have a Hello Kitty cracker. I guess they make all different kinds here. We get some that are kind of like a creamy looking one. I got this one right here. I mean, it looks like it's toasted. It looks like it's got some kind of a sprinkling, maybe some herbs or spices. I don't know what that's all about, but I do know it is a Kraken cracker. We also have, you guys, I have never seen anything like this. Look at it. It is a squishy shrimp and it's not a red shrimp. I think it's like the raw one before you cook it. It's kind of like a gray color. There is a little squishy piece inside. Oh, that is so, so cool. This thing is so weird. It is amazing. Love it. Uh, like everything about this little gray shrimp is weird. I love my shrimp red or pink. Ugh. Let me take a look at what else is going on on my table here. So of course you know I need my Colleen homemades. I got two of them right here. She dropped them off this morning. I have this little like paint splatter. This really pretty orange one. And this one, I don't know you guys, it's so so heavy. It's so cool. Ooh. And last but not least, this arrived in the mail yesterday. I ordered it. It is so so cute. Baba, it's an Ikorani like Panda Hanami Dango. What is that? So there you go, our six new things we're working with today. Totally weird, different ones. We got some Hello Kitty, some shrimp, some kiwi. And I am ready to do this. I got my shizzies. Come on. Oh yeah, Bubba, that's your pledge. Come on, but we are not chopping kiwi slime. Just squishing it. Okay, so we are ready to roll. I got the first one up here. I picked the shrimp. I don't know why I picked this. I'm just so, so curious what is going on inside. I did take a peek, but I can't exactly see it, but I can feel it and it's squishy. Look at that thing. What are you looking at, Bubba? Watching you. Watching you, Bubba. <laughs> Bubba, this thing dies like I can't even handle it. Look at those gross little eyes. It looks like a bug. <laughs> Before we start slicing and dicing this little shrimpy here, let me just take a closer look. Whoa, it is just so, so cool. It's really squishy. The outside, like the outer part, is like a hard rubber. Not too, too squish, but it's got a tail. Ooh, I think the tail pops off. It's got those beady little eyes. Ew, it looks like a bug or something. It's cool though, it's really weird. Let's see, let's pull the tail. We get raw shrimp. Bubble, bubble, you did not. Just peel the shrimp, the raw shrimp, out of the skin. It like pop right out of there. And here's the tail. Weird. Uh, I am just speechless right now. You guys, I am in love with this little thing. It's just so, so cool. It like peels out of there. And this little shrimpy inside is so, so squish. Ooh, feels like a mochi. One of those little mochi seals. Look at that, it's got the coloring. Looks yummy. Bubble, nothing left to do but slice the shrimp. Let's get it ready for cooking. Let's see. Ooh. Really crunchy and fresh. Look at that. When you slice this thing down the center, you guys, I have taken, I've cooked shrimps before. I've cleaned them, I've peeled them. It looks like a real shrimp inside. It's got that real like, Squishy kind of texture. Got another piece, bubble. Slice it. Looks like shrimp's on the menu tonight. After all of that chopping chaos, I have to say, oh, this was one of the best squishies ever. So, so clever. It was like genius. Little shrimp popping out of this. We got the tail. All these little pieces. Loved it. Bubble, we might as well chop up the shrimp skin or like the shell. Let's do it. Just for fun. And those beady little shrimp eyes. Ugh. Got you. Ugh! Bubble, it's looking 
at you. It's still looking at you. Chop off the eyeballs. Ew. Yeah. Oh, look, from that gray shrimp there to a Colleen homemade right here. Oh, so excited. Haven't opened one of these in a few days. Oh. It's doing little toots. Oh, Mama, why is it doing little toots? Why is it doing a little toots? Why? This balloon is totally like mesmerizing. When I squeeze on it, I see all these little swirls going around. <laughs> it's kind of making me dizzy. I love it. That's so, so cool. Time to pop this. Let's do it. Bubble, let's do it and let's go for explosion. Explosion right now. Oh, yeah. interesting I got some like bubble gummy looking slime right here popping out of this thing and there is so much of it I don't know if the camera's doing it justice guys but there is so much slime here I literally think it would fill like a mason jar and a half it is just like flowing what is this uh egg <laughs> what is this thing Oh, it's kind of tricky. I think it's in Japanese. We can't really read it, but I think it's a surprise egg. Like a Japanese surprise egg. Oh, look. A watch. Oh, this egg is literally so weird. It is scaring me like chicken, Rubik's Cube, watch, digital watch. What's going on? Hey, guys. I don't know what this thing is. I mean, it's super cute. Normally, she puts little toys. Ooh, I see something else poking out. Little donut squishy. She'll put these little tiny toys in her slimes, but this is a big egg. I don't know how she put it in that balloon. Let's just open it because I don't know what it is. Let's see. is the most adorable little thing I've seen. I don't know what I was expecting from this green egg, but I got a little frog. Look at that, it looks like a wind-up toy. Oh, that is so cute. Wow, these Japanese surprise eggs are so much better than like the ones I've ever seen. Look at this. Oh, it's a little pupper. I'm a little pupper, <laughs> I'm looking at this cute little picture here it came with. It's supposed to pop and flip. Wow, look at this little guy. Woo! Whoa, well, Bubbles, did you just see that? This thing is doing tricks. It's doing tricks. Whoa! <laughs> and it looks like we get, ooh, a squishy donut. Look at this thing, it's all chocolatey. <gasps> Look at that. Oh, look at this little donut. It is making me starving. It is so, so cute. It is like toasty, frosty, and sprinkly. Oh, I wish it was real. It smells so good. Can't chop this baby up. I'm putting it on my keys. Another one. I got about 50 keychains hanging off of my purse. And little froggy fish. So cute. this Colleen who made pink slime. I'm pretty sure she made this. It has the best texture. A little bit on the sticky side, but I love it. You can work it around. It is satisfying. All of the good qualities I love. Oh, it's so, so good. Looks like bubble gums. moved over that pink homemade slime. I could literally play with it. I put it in a jar just so I could save it. And we are on to some Hello Kitty. 
Papow. Get it right, Bubba, like Happy Papow mascot. What is that? Would it show yummy looking? It looks like a salty cracker or something. And I must say, out of all the Sanrio characters, Hello Kitty is my fave. I mean, I've been collecting Hello Kitty, I think, since I was like three or four years old. I love her. I love all those little characters. And this squishy looks amazing. It looks so amazing. Look at that. Ooh, what is on there? As usual guys, I'm squishing this thing. I am in love with this. I am so in love with this little Hello Kitty cracker. You don't even know. First of all, it's super heavy. It's like really heavy. It has lots of detail, like lots of little herbs or pieces of garlic, whatever it's supposed to be on there. It's got a little chocolate bow. It is just the best. It really is. And I have two of these, so don't get mad at me for chopping it. I just want to see what's cracking inside. Oh, all I need to see what's cracking inside. It's a Hello Kitty cracking cracker. You know what I mean? Let me give this a whiff, see what it smells like. Ooh, those little things go up your nose. It's got all these little crusty things. I can't explain it, they're all over my table. But it doesn't smell, it doesn't smell like anything. Let's do this. Half. You did? Can't believe you. Oh, I did chop off the end and I do see a little piece of something. Let's get to the nucleus of this baby. See what's going on. Here it is. Oh, this literally looks like pizza crust. Like pizza crust bread. Ew, it's not so weird inside. Here's your metal cracking piece. My poor little Hello Kitty is all chopped up into a bunch of pieces. I'm still trying to get this little metal piece or whatever this is out. It's in here real good. Got it hidden. Let's see. There it is. Nothing too special. I don't even know if it was worth chopping this just to get this. But I was curious and now we know. Almost is like a slap bracelet. That's what it feels like. This looks like garlic bread. <laughs> really, it looks like a piece of garlic bread or like some kind of a cracker. Love that. Oh, love it. Hey, Bubba, so like here it is. Like garlic bread looking memory foam and like clicky piece of metal. Whatever. Move along. Put it in a pile with your chopped up shrimp. Nice. I don't know about you guys, but I could use a little slime in my day right now. And this slime is just, ugh, everything about it is screaming cute. It is so, so cute. Obviously, it's got some Japanese or some kind of writing. I can't really read it. But it is from Colleen. She got it on her trip. And it's a kiwi, which makes it even better. Oh, you do love a kiwi. But is it scented? Let's see. Ooh, I feel it. Now I'm twisting it. Weird. Oh, this little kiwi right here is very cool. Just the whole way they packaged it. I mean, you take off the brown skin and you twist it a little bit and inside of this plastic, I love how they have that little seed detail. Is our kiwi slime or putty? Oh, it feels so good. It's freezing cold. I love the color on it, it's pearly. Nice. Now for the smell test, I think it's supposed to be scented. Let me see. Ooh, oh yeah. <laughs> it smells like lemon or lime. Very citrusy. It's got such a good smell. I just wish it was a little bit bigger. But we can work with this. Good enough. These are the little slimes that are good for popping in your pencil case or your purse. And you take them out when you're a little bored. A little stress relieving. I like that. Oh, slime is exactly for stress relieving. When you got lots of stress, you just squish it up like that and it takes the anxiety away. Oh yeah.
Alrighty, you little kiwi teenies. Let's pop this baby back in this little container. Oh, it is adorable. You know, it almost looks like a lip gloss container. The way they made it. I really like it. Perfect size, actually. And move along. Let's look at that. Everything about kiwi slimes rocks. This rocks. Almost can't even believe it. We are on to squishy number five out of six. And it is the Ikorani. Little panda mochi. Mama, when we read this package, it is like so interesting. It says panda, hanami, dango. I think this little guy's name is dango. So cute. Now that I'm looking at this package, I literally have to start reading Japanese. I have to start reading it because I never really know exactly what it says or what it is. All I know is it's squishy, which I guess is good enough. Look at that. It looks like a little baby crib or something like that. It's so super cute. Let's take a look. Ooh, wow. <laughs> this is so amazing, you guys. It is not a panda bread. It is a panda, like a dough ball. Most adorable mochi cake ever. And I have had a lot of mochi cake squishies. I've chopped open many, but this one takes the cake. It would have been cute if it was like a different color. It's got that classic white and black. Panda face. Ugh, can't take it. Mochi. And it's a slow rising mochi too. Look at this bubble. Look at the slow rise on it. Those little panda eyes popping up at you. Mochi! Panda mochi! Let's see. Ooh, it feels like I'm slicing an egg. Ooh. I think it is the squishy cream filling that we love. It is mochi cream. Whoa. Mashed piece of it too. I thought it was mashed potatoes. That sticky old mashed potato stuff that gets all over my table. It is my favorite squishy filler in the world. Almost like a Play-Doh modeling clay. Very, very foamy. Putty stuff. I love this. I love it. It's not messy. Oh, I love it. Can't get enough of this filling. Oh, look, if you still want to save the mochi panda, you could put all of this squishy dough back inside and like seal it up. Or you could just chop it right up the middle with the cream. Really don't know what it is. It's almost like a bouncy clay. It's super light and airy. And it is the best. Look, I could do this all day. Move over little panda face. We got a Colleen homemade, a final squishy chop. Let's get to it. It is the ninth inning, the final inning on my table, and we have the squishy homemade. This thing is so weird. I've been squished on it for a couple minutes actually. It is the smoothest, jelliest stress ball, stress ball, sorry, <laughs> stress ball that I think I've ever, ever felt or seen. It's got this little plastic knob at the end. I'm not sure what that is. But this literally looks like a hot air balloon. Like, it's beautiful. Look at the colors on it. Unreal. Got this little hot air balloony in explosion position. Once I hit it with the scissors, woo, it's gonna pop open on the count of three. One, two, three. Woo, I knew it. Oh, what is that? What do we have here, you guys? What is going on? <gasps> Look at this. I think I see the best for last. It is like a sparkle jelly slime with little aliens. Look at these little alien babies. They are all different colors. Whoa. <laughs> this is cool. Bubble, there are literally hundreds of aliens stuck in the slime. I mean, maybe not hundreds, but lots. Ooh, look at that. Look at that one. It matches your nails. Let me get the rest of the squishy goodness out of the bag here. Wow. And it always amazes me how Colleen stuffed so much of this stuff into a tiny little balloon. I don't think I could do it. I've tried. I've never made it this big. This stuff is epic. Look at the slime, you guys. Whoa. It is like... <laughs> it's like something from another planet with these little guys in here. Is that you can like poke at it with the little aliens inside looking up at you? Perfect. 
never had one of these before. Look, I'm pulling at it and squishing on it. All these little aliens are stuck in there. So crazy. They don't fall out. They stick in so good. Aliens out and see what's going on with them. Ooh, we got Mr. Blue. What else? Ooh, this one looks gold. He's gold! Get these little aliens back in the slime pit. It's where they belong. And this is glittery goo. It's glittery alien goo. That's what we're calling it. Look at the squish on it. Look at the colors. could spend the afternoon poking on this stuff. It just has a crazy feel to it. I mean, Colleen makes tons of different slimes. This one is the more jelly-like. And when you poke at it, you feel all those little things, those little plastic cuties. It's just really good. It's perfect. That's it, that's all she wrote. A beautiful slime, oh, squishiest ever. Little aliens, nothing left to say about it. The best. This is exactly how I like my table ending up. Nice and clean, nothing was too messy. I love everything here. I love this little froggy, but my absolute favorite, I do have to say, was the alien slime. Had the best texture. I love this pink bubble gummy one too, and I love me some kiwi slime. It was so, so cute. Oh yeah, Bubbles. Well, I love ribbit. This little froggy. This is backflip. Popping out of the surprise egg. That was my favorite. And the little raw shrimp. I enjoyed this. I really love these things. I hope you guys did too. And I'd love for you to leave me a comment. Let me know out of all these things. What was your fave? Which ones you didn't like? I'd love to know. And we are going to have so many more fun videos coming up on the show. And if you want to subscribe to our channel, just click this big yellow bubble with the bubblegum machine and subscribe. Have a great day, you guys. Bye. See you later.